Welcome friends, welcome to another episode of uh, Vintage Phantom Pens. This will be a rather special episode because I present to you a um, favorite German producer of mine. I will show you in this episode all my Kvecos in my current collection. As you can see, I deposited them all in this cigar box. I know it isn't a proper uh, way to store these vintage and rare beauties, but uh, it is what it is. I don't have a professional stand to display them all. So I keep them all in this cigar box. And I start with the first one, which in fact, uh, it is not a um, Caveco, but it is a Shoneken. And I don't know if you know this brand, but it is a German brand, quite, quite a famous brand, which produced in the 1940s and the 1950s uh, little masterpieces. In fact, the Schoenecken 111 Extra from the beginning of the 1950s, it is considered the best fountain pen of that decade, surpassing Pelican and Mont Blanc. So I'm sorry that uh, I started this Caveco episode with uh, a Shoneken, but uh, let's say it is a nice uh, model from that period of time that was a direct competitor of the Caveco. This is why of the reason that I hold this Shoneken in uh, this box. But let's leave the Shoneken, because the main star of this episode is the famous, famous firm Caveco. And you can see this beautiful, beautiful clip. It is the classic shape of the clips from the Caveco in the 1930s, 1940s and 1950s. And the beautiful, beautiful logo, Caveco. This particular model is a Caveco original. And I hope you can see number 52 from 1937 and I will show you the nib quite quite a beautiful beautiful gold nib 14 karat gold nib and I will show you the filling system it is a button filler so although maybe you think that the Germans had only the piston filling mechanism no the piston filling mechanism was promoted by Pelican, but uh, only at the end of the 30s and uh, on the 40s and 50s, uh, that piston was adopted by other manufacturers. Indeed, uh, in those uh, times, even Mont Blanc used a button filler. So this is the beautiful, beautiful Cavec original from 1937. Let's leave it aside. Here I have a Franken pen with the cap of a Parker. It is not related with the Caveco products, but it is related to the German products because it has a piston filling mechanism. So this is a Franken pen and I wanted to show this little Franken pen to make yourself an idea about the European market at that time. I want to say that Parker never really released this type of filling mechanism. So this is a little Franken pen and I will put it next to the Shoneken because it has no relations with the Caveco brand. But uh, these Phantom pens have relations. So you must know that I, I um, take them not in the, their chronological order. So in this we have Pegulan. So you must know that uh, the famous Caveco Sports from the 1950s and the 1960s and the 1970s, they often released in collaborations with different firms this type of products that uh, were intended for that business and they were given to the employees of that business or even as uh, gifts to their clients. So if I'm not mistaken, Pegulan was um, a German firm specialized in um, um, specialized in um, 
furniture or um, I don't know exactly in office furniture but I must I think I'm mistaken um, uh, it's not uh, um, the point of this video but uh, this beautiful is look at this Caveco you got to love this little 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 fountain pen and we have here the name of it V12 with an oblique medium nib and I have Caveco Sport beautiful you've noticed that we don't have a clip this is specific to all the Caveco Sports and let me show you this beautiful beautiful nib let's zoom on it a little bit okay here we have if you see here in the crack 14 carat we have a 14 carat gold nib and here we have um, 585 okay I think you can see this is a semi hooded nib specific to the 1960s a beautiful beautiful fountain pen this is a piston filler so you simply open the blind cap and you can see the turning mechanism okay and uh, this set uh, it came to me with um, this mechanical pencil you can see that all the body is faceted in comparison with the fountain pen when uh, where we had only the cap faceted so this is a caveco sport 19 a beautiful beautiful uh, mechanical pencil at the end you can see the logo okay let's leave them aside because we have many many more to come so in no particular order this is a caveco dia 802g with the ef nib unfortunately uh, this is from the 1950s Unfortunately, you can see that um, it lacks this plastic part here. The same logo with a Caveco here and the logo on top of the cap. It unscrews. We have the ink window and we have the beautiful, beautiful gold nib. But let's pay attention to the uh, to it. Uh, sorry, let's zoom. And um, I want to zoom a little bit more. And you can see that the two tines they are not misaligned, but one is missing the end. You can see one is slightly longer than the other, so it's it uh, lacks the top, the iridium top. A shame of the nib because it's a beautiful 14 karat 585 gold nib and uh, the cost of repairing this nib is quite quite a large cost and I simply hold it like uh, it is maybe it will be a great peace donor when the time comes but uh, this was quite quite cheap I paid um, around 10 euros for it so it's not a big uh, waste of money okay let's um advance and we are going to see a original caveco sport caveco from 1996 and this is a caveco it's not a new ordinary caveco it's made uh, indeed out of plastic but it is uh, like a homage of the old Cavecos from the 1930s. You can see this uh, Guilherme pattern, Caveco Sport by Diplomat. This is um, a rather modern set. It has a beautiful gold, uh, gold plated nib. This is the difference. We don't have a gold nib. We have Caveco Germany and we don't have a piston filler but rather we open the barrel and we can see we have a cartridge filler 
this fountain uh, pen is quite um, thick. I believe this is, uh, yes, it is a ballpoint pen. It also come with uh, this etui. No personalization on it, but a great looking etui. Let's leave this them aside. And let's continue. Let's continue with a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen from the beginning of the 1950s. This is my favorite Caveco Sport. Let me show you the chain with the round coin. Caveco Sport. Beautiful, beautiful. Also, it has, um, I don't know if you can see, a personalization. It's Werner Kauer. Uh, they are um, some executives from the minor coal uh, industry in Germany from the beginning of the 1950s. Just look at this beautiful Caveco Sport. Faceted uh, cap and the name is Caveco 12 with an OM nib and my god I want to show you that nib <laughs> it has also uh, an ink window and you can see it's slightly green different from the others which had uh, a blue ink window look 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 just look at this beautiful nib oblique medium nib wonderful 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 nib and I'm sorry it has a little problem you can see it has the tines uh, misaligned let's see if I can uh, resolve this problem with my fingernail hmm. I don't want to ruin it but um, okay so it has this now they are aligned almost aligned okay this is the beautiful beautiful nib and let me show you another Caveco 12 because when you're a fan of one model you need to have it in different nibs and this is a wonderful double ob double broad oblique nib Caveco Sport the same model 12 interesting that um, uh, this seems more like a blue ink window but uh, it is the same as the other and this is the nib let me show you in comparison the two nibs because one is double broad oblique nib and the other is just om nib you can see the difference between the two of them quite quite nice nice looking pieces let me see what we have Mm, I have another. Oh, this is another uh, <laughs> etui. Of course, I'm sorry, it's not related to the, to the Caveco. It is uh, from my latest acquisition. Oops. Oops, oops. Yes. <laughs> it contains uh, two, uh, two uh, celluloids, but they are not uh, German, so they don't have a connection to this video. This is a, um, a two-way box from a Shonaken 362. A quite, quite rare, rare piece. Let's put this aside and let's check out the box. Oops. Let me see what this is. Oh yes, another German fountain pen that <laughs> it has absolutely no connection with the Caveco. This is a Matador Express fountain pen. So, I will leave also this aside, but I promise that the next Cavecos are the real deal. And I'm quite proud of them. I will... Um, I left uh, the best for uh, the last part. I consider a good acquisition when you can find a fountain pen it's in original box with original papers not often these uh, things think happens so uh, i have in this box a special caveco and it's a caveco sonderklasse 685 ef nib 
a beautiful, beautiful piece with uh, its original receipt, with original instructions and the proof that it is its original box. So 6A5EF. Another, another stunning, stunning Caveco from my collection. Look at it. Beautiful, beautiful. And let us see the beautiful two-tone gold nib. And this is a beauty. Look at it. Okay, 5A5, 14 carats. A beautiful, beautiful nib. I don't remember if we have a blind cap. Let me check. Yes, this is with a blind cap. A piston with a blind cap. But uh, you can see in uh, NOS condition, wonderful, wonderful fountain pen and a great acquisition. I don't remember the exact sum, but I believe it was uh, under 100 euros. Yes, it was 100, 100 euros uh, with its original box. And speaking of original boxes and original purchases, this is the Caveco Dia V3 OF from 1961. And I know sure it is from 1961 because believe me, it has the papers, um, the warranty and uh, the... Uh, that warranty is filled with a uh, German stationery store and uh, like a funny story that stationery store still exists in the same address so from 1961 till our present day that stationery store still exists there and of course you can check out the review of the Caveco DAV3 on my channel to find out, to find more details about this beautiful fountain pen. And an interesting trait, uh, um, you will see that all the Cavecos that I have are um, black with gold trims. And this is uh, a gray one. So quite, quite a rare color for the Cavecos. And you see that the hooded nib resembles the nib that we saw on the... Caveco Sport previously, including the marquees, so 585 here and 14 carats here. And uh, by the way, guys, you can admire all my uh, Cavecos. And uh, let me show them to you. So let's zoom out. Let's take out the box out of the picture. And let me show them to you so as i told you you can see uh design trait here so they are all black with gold trims with the exceptions of this rare gray color so guys this was my uh, marathon video where i've um, presented to you a short presentation of all my caveco vintage from my current collection I am officially announcing to you that I will buy all the Cavecos models that I will encounter on the market because I consider the Caveco and Schoenaken are the greatest German fountain pens from that period. And of course the Cavecos have a great great price in comparison with the Mont Blancs or other German fountain pens from that period. Thank you for your time. Wherever you are I wish you to have a nice day. If you've enjoyed this marathon, please try to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will support my activity and I could buy lots and lots of Cavecos and uh, share them with you on my YouTube channel. Again, thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye.